Muslim, Muslim capital of America. America. Uh, stuff Allah. Stuff Allah. Mm. I would love Stuff. to hear how Gilly and Wallow feel about Philly now. Huh? Inshallah, things will change, man. Hopefully. Hey, yo, Philly. You think you do? You think Gilly gonna let his other son go back to Philly? Do you think Gilly want his other son going back to Philly? Nope. Damn. Do you think Gilly want his other kid going back to Philly ever again? What do you think Gilly feeling right now? Philadelphia let yo y'all Philly got y'all let Gilly and Wallow down. And the best thing that y'all could do is point the finger at me, cause y'all killed that young boy. Fuck Philly. Damn. Safe. Look out how somebody behind you. There is somebody behind me. There's a few people behind me. I know my block. I'm good on my block. Are you good, on, good on my block? That's what they need to ask them about. They good on, on top this. Of the fact that I got dogs running around my yard that you can't see. I got sons you don't know about. Guns you don't know about. Like, nigga, I'm good. I'm good. Look out. Fuck I look like. You walked through the door, killed your moms, and fucked Bam. Ooh, you got that comment through. That was so dope. <laughs> Ooh, the fuck? Now you got to make another account in order to talk in my comment section. And you know the crazy what part the about fuck? it is? His bitch ass going to go create another email, got another account, and within five minutes, he's going to follow me all over again. Which one is it? He sacrificed the first one. You got to understand. So let me break something down to y'all, right? I don't think... Y'all ever heard of the curse of the lottery? Have you ever heard of the curse of the lottery? The people that hit the lottery? Let, most of them die after they hit the lottery? You Burp. ever heard about that? Look it up. Facts. In order for you to be in the industry and get those big check, big checks... Fifty thousand dollar checks, twenty. I mean, not fifty thousand, twenty million and, and thirty million and ten million. Nigga, there's a price that comes with that industry. If you don't believe that, I do. You don't have to believe that. You don't. Everybody that told you how evil Hollywood and the music industry is, if you don't believe Holly that's weird. your problem, I believe it. Holly weird. <laughs> you don't have to believe it. I do. Straight up. About it turning up. Just weirdos. Well, you just know, sat back and listened to Nori. Painted Visit nails. More. A mean well, door. You let a man hump on your booty. <laughs> or you gonna sacrifice. It's the door. That's not answering the question. It's a little bit of both, man. When you make a sacrifice, you don't know who they gonna take. When you make a sacrifice and you sign that contract, you don't know who they coming for. See, what you got to understand is when you make a sacrifice, right? When you make a sacrifice, it's the angel of death that decides whose soul they going to snatch. And when you make that sacrifice, it ain't supposed to feel good. But you went through the door, nah. I never went through no fucking door. That's why they targeted me the way they targeted me, my nigga. And everybody see that. My name is one of the biggest names in the game right now. And you know, you never hear mainstream media say anything about me. Mainstream media ignores me. I'm like Ice Cube. What did Ice Cube say? They mad at me because I don't want to sit down with them. You don't see Ice Cube at their parties. 
He stayed independent. Facts. Eddie Garcia. Shouts out to the big dude. three. I ain't nobody. I how, how did you? How Swish. did you get here? Bitch, I took the bus. Your ass ain't supposed to be here. I don't know that. <laughs> That's the whole thing. You here. You came and found me. I'm not even under Hassan Campbell. This is Poppy from BX River. So you came and found me on this account just to tell me that I ain't nobody. Nigga, you mentally disturbed. <laughs> That's why I can't, yo, I can't with niggas. Like, damn, who made you? Your mother was a, your mother was a weak bitch because I know your father wasn't there. Your father probably was a dope fiend like mine. Your mother was a weak bitch. That's why you chasing a, you chasing a nigga that don't even know you. You ain't nobody. Who you trying to convince that I ain't nobody? Me or you? Eh, hit him in the head with the, stop playing with me. I like feeding into these clowns sometimes. I love it sometimes. I love it. I love pissing niggas off. Love it. But I pray that Allah forgives cheese. For anything that he may have done but wrong before he died, I pray to Allah that he heals Gillian Wallow and the family, the mother of cheese. You know, I don't wish that on that young boy. I just want y'all to understand something, right? There's going to be more deaths in Philly, Chicago, you know, Baltimore, Brooklyn, the Bronx. New Orleans, St. Louis. It's going to be murders all over the place this summer. It would be nice if this could spark a stop the violence movement and people will go out to these blocks and knock on the doors of these shooters and sit down and tell their mother, your son shoot another nigga in this block, we going to whip his ass and your ass. Because the reality of it is, all these murders, murderers going on in the hood, where the fuck is the parents at? Hello, where the parents at? Where the parents at? Type and rest in peace on the internet don't do shit. The era of the crack babies, babies. What about the sacrificial thing you was just talking about that comes with the industry? When you get to a certain level, when you get to a certain level in the industry, you're going to have to make a blood sacrifice. The first level of that shit is homosexuality. When you get to a certain level, you either, you either sacrificing a child. Or having sex with an animal. And I'm not talking about... As in Gilly sacrificed his child, I'm talking about Murder. you in a room somewhere and you slit in a baby's throat. Bob you doing some foul sacrifice. shit to get that, to, to that level. You don't just get to that level because you talented. Your talent don't get you to that level. And it gets you to that door. Stop. And in order, what Nori said, I'm my beast. talent got me here. I'm talented. He said, but after that, I wouldn't go platinum again. Because now in order to keep that status, you got to sell your soul. The bargain is for your soul. Soul and whole. Soul and whole. I love you and your work, but you are wrong for speaking on that man and his son like it was a sacrifice. Everybody loses a loved one. That's what I believe. I'm entitled to believe what I believe. Some people, you got bitches right now that's watching me. They get mad at their man. They go get a picture. They put it in the glass jar and they cast spells on that nigga because they believe that they're going to fuck up his life through the spells. If, uh, I Santeria, some real blood shit. sacrifices. If, uh, I believe that Hollywood is evil. I believe Voodoo. that the music industry is evil. I believe that. 
If you don't believe that, I understand, but I do. I firmly believe that. That's all right. I be corny. I love being a corny nigga. I, I love being a clown. I love being corny. I love being a weirdo. I love being all that. I'm a corny nigga with swag. I'm a corny. I'm a corny nigga that got millions of people all over the world that either love me or hate me. Either one. With you, nobody gives a fuck about you. So whatever you is, I don't want to be. Because regardless of what, to somebody, I'm special. Let's get to that. You're not calling you a tribal leader. Thank you, family. I appreciate you. Why got you shook? Joe got you shook, Joe gully up. Man, shut up. You know what I'm scared of? Let me tell you what I'm scared of. I'm scared of my kids asking me for some snacks or some clothes on their back or some book bags or some bicycles and I can't give it to them. I'm scared of my daughters. Fast. Like, I got a daughter right now that gave me a grandchild. I'm scared of not being able to help her. With my grandchild. That's what I'm scared of. When it comes to combat, man, I done been through it all. I got bullets in me. The night that I got shot, Shit, me too. when I went to the hospital, I got handcuffed and I to the hospital bed myself. and charged with shooting three people. I've been in these streets. I don't give a fuck about them no more. You can have the streets. Facts. You can have them. Give me something to eat. Give me something to drink. Let me get my dick sucked, and I'm going to bed. Yep. And tomorrow, I'm going to repeat that shit. Give me something to eat. Give me some good-ass pussy. Let me watch my favorite TV shows if I feel like it. Play out in my yard. Play with my dogs. Life is simple for me. Maybe I am corny. But when you get to a certain age, you're supposed to be able to kick your feet up. Go repeat prison programs. I'm not trying to prove myself. Fuck that. I'm not trying to fit in with anybody. Facts. I'm good in my own shoes. And no matter what people say about me, all these niggas on the internet still trying to use my name and my energy to call me a clout chaser. Look at my name and all the titles. I'm always going to be relevant on this internet because I'm always going to shake this shit up. Every time there's going to be an important conversation or topic just like this, I'm going to come right to this camera and say some shit that everybody else don't want to say. I'm going to say the shit that everybody else don't want to say. When niggas sit up there talking about my downfall, my downfall. The internet ain't my motherfucking downfall. My downfall, my downfall is not me, me not praying to a law. From a law, I come into a law must return my downfall. All of my kids is out of the hood. All of my kids is out of the hood. None of my kids is living on university or none of the rest of that shit. <laughs> Nigga, I'm up. All the way up. But even if I fell Nigga trying to get and move back in the Bronx River, gonna get even there. if I fell, mentally, we not alike. We not on the same page. Until I die, I'll be trying to liberate my people. You got to be a sorry, miserable motherfucker to try to target a nigga money. I just thank God that I figured out other ways to make money. But money ain't everything to me. Because when worst case scenario, I get on Section 8 just like you. Worst case scenario, <laughs> I get on welfare just like you. I know how to survive. Next time you hear one of these niggas talking slick, ask them where their kids live at. <laughs> My kids don't live in the projects. And this ain't no shot at, at, no, at, at no female that's struggling out there. This is a shot at all you bitch-ass niggas out there 
that think you more of a man than me. Get your kids out of the project. Get your kids out of the hood. If you ain't got your kids out of the hood, you can't have this conversation with me. I don't give a fuck about what you driving. I don't give a fuck where you live at. Where do your kids live at? That's grown man bars that you got to deal with right there. Mm -hmm. Where your kids live at? I want for my brothers what I want for myself. My wife ain't pulling up in the projects unless she's doing a case. She's a speech therapist, so when you see her pulling up in the projects, that's because she's going there to educate the kids. Brains behind the triggers, nigga. When you see her pulling up in front of the Board of Ed on the first job, that's because she's going there to educate the fucking kids. The main objective is to get the fuck out of the hood. Then you pull the next person out of the hood. The main objective is not to stay in the fucking hood. The hood ain't nothing but a slave camp. The hood wasn't meant for us to make it out of the hood. Y'all niggas be getting mad at me, but y'all keep selling the hood to the hood. Niggas is How brainwashed. How you gonna sell the hood to the hood? I'm outside, I'm outside. You outside because you stuck there, motherfucker. It's like niggas in jail watching jail shows. I don't want to be 50 years old still standing in Bronx River. Locked when I up go watching Bronx prison. River, I go show love to the people that's still there. That but at shit. the same time, there's niggas in Bronx River that have the money to get out, but they brain capacity can't get out. So they don't leave. Then you get on this internet, you watch these videos with all these millionaires that keep selling you the hood. These niggas live like this. Yo, how's why you hiding in the house? I'm hiding. Nigga, you know how fucking good it feels to be in my yard? For real. Check my background. It feels good to be here. They never been through nothing. That's why they like that. You got to go through something. They pretending. They pretending. It feels good to be here. Must be nice. This shit feels good. I'm getting my yard ready. My it yard is four times bigger than that. But I want it like that. I'm not going to sell you the hood, nigga. I'm going to sell you paradise. Y'all see. The loss of a guy. I'm not selling you the hood, man. My table changed colors. Look. Look. Table changed colors. Lights of things in life. Fuck that hood shit. Pissy always. Get up out that shit, man. Nigga done been to prison. Nigga shot niggas, been oh, shot, stabbed a lot man. of niggas. Got... I'm not coming here. I'm not selling you the hood. Fuck that. Let's get right, man. Don't be brainwashed, man. Older niggas ruined us. That's why niggas don't like me. Let's get right, nigga. That's some bullshit. And it broke? Don't sell me the hood. Ain't this a bitch? Like I said, it's like niggas being be in prison. I'm not here to sell you the hood, man. It's like being in prison. I'm trying to show you that there's a way out. Watching I'm prison. I'm trying to sell you the hood, man. Niggas die in the hood. Niggas die in the hood. And I'm gonna tell you straight up and down, me, we different. When niggas sit up there and say they outside, if you are, if you ain't got your gun on your waist, you ain't outside. If you don't go everywhere with your gun on your waist, you not outside, my nigga. That's if real. you ain't got your gun on your waist everywhere you go, you're not outside. There's a difference. Every time I go outside, I'm, I'm prepared not to make it back home. Every time. You think I don't know niggas be dropping phone calls? Oh, yo, he on this block, he on that block. Yeah, I'm prepared for whatever. Every time I go outside, I know it's, not a, it's a possibility that I'm not going to make it home. 
So my thing is, why the fuck do you niggas keep going outside in the hood? Even if you live in the hood, why are you on the block? Niggas keep selling you the hood. Keep Watch. Selling you the hood, they're going back to paradise. Get the fuck out of the hood, man. Get out of New York. Get some land. <laughs> Told you. And see, that's the problem. If a nigga can see you outside every day, he could kill you. <laughs> You'll never see me on the same block every day. Even when I was living in the hood, you would never catch me in the same spot every day. I'm sorry. What's the purpose of me driving a Benz or an Audi or an Infinity? What's the purpose of me driving a foreign and I'm sitting on the same block every day? Nigga, beat that highway up. Facts, got a point. Get on that highway. Go from state to state. I go dolo from state to state. <laughs> every day pulling up on the same block? That shit corny. Facts. Looking at the same bitch ass niggas. That's corny. That's not me. And I know a lot of people be getting offended at the shit that I say. I don't care. Because I elevated myself so I don't have to do the same shit every day and have to be in the same place every day. I worked hard so I didn't have to be in the projects in a tenement building. I bust my ass. I don't like stepping in piss when I go in the elevator. Go forward, not backwards, baby. Or turn to stone. Nigga went back to the hood and got murdered. And y'all mad at me. When somebody should have told him when he got back to the hood that little Mike Mike and little Ray Ray was waiting for him to come. Y'all think that niggas ain't waiting for me to come to the hood? I was laughing. Let me tell y'all something, right? One of the parties that we had... I was laughing because in the party, I seen some niggas that looked like they wanted to give me the business, but they looked around the party and they seen there was a thousand niggas with me and they knew they wasn't going to make it out of that party alive. So they had to watch me have a good time at that party. Every time I go outside, I know it's a chance that I might not make it out. I, may, I might not make it home. But it is what it is. Pay attention to your circle before they hurt you.